This video is proudly presented by my executive producer Didrik. Thanks for your support, without you this video would not have been possible. I have been multiple times to Belgrade. The city became basically my most visited capital city ever. I visited it even more than the capital city of the country I live in, so I know this city quite well and visited many corners of it. In my previous videos about Belgrade I tried to highlight the nice things of the city and didn't talk much about the negative things going on there. But in this video I'm going to talk about something what really disturbed me for quite a while and raised questions in my head which were until recently unanswered. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video about Belgrade and its abandoned buildings. Belgrade a bustling metropolitan city with over 1.5 million inhabitants is one of the biggest cities in southeastern Europe and the capital of Serbia. It is well known for its busy nightlife and affordable costs of travel. What it is not that well known for is its turbulent history. Belgrade experienced various wars, crises and political turmoil and life was not always easy for the people living there. This left various leftovers, marks and scars on the cityscape of Belgrade today. Normally people would think that Belgrade has its best period in time ever because Belgrade waterfront is being built and lots of shopping malls as well. But what if I tell you that there are even recent projects remaining unfinished and that there is not a date of completion yet? There is one building in Block 23 in New Belgrade, which is a great example how an ambitious project got on hold and not continued to get built. It is supposed to be a luxurious office building with a glass facade and a heliport on the roof. Even though it was supposed to be the first of its kind in Serbia, the building process was halted in 2009, which was in the middle of the Great Global Depression. The investor for the whole project was Verano Group, a company which owns multiple enterprises in different sectors, including being the importer of Peugeot vehicles for Serbia. Their website has not been updated for quite a while and I presume the company is not active anymore, as on Google Maps the company is in a place which is basically unlikely to be the headquarters and the various Peugeot blue boxes are abandoned. According to some articles on the internet, Verano Group went bankrupt in 2015. Now because of the bankruptcy of Verano Group, the building didn't get finished and no buyer was found even after the building was put on sale in 2017 for 26.5 million euros, which is ridiculous considering its location is in one of Belgrade's most desired neighborhoods and right next to a major traffic route. I mean, one would be dumb not to invest in finishing this building, right? Well, I don't know if it is a good idea to invest in a building left abandoned for so long, but a future investor could demolish it and build a new structure there, as Belgrade is experiencing uh, as of today a construction boom. Eventually, in December 2019, the building got sold to a local company for building and maintenance of buildings for 2.2 billion Serbian dinars, which is in today's value of 18.7 million euros. That price is definitely a bargain. I'm definitely looking forward to see what is going to happen with this particular building in the near future, because I was always fascinated of its modern looks and I'm upset that such a great potential is being wasted and ruining the cityscape. Do you think that 12 years are a long time? Well, what if I tell you that there is a building not being built for over 25 years? We stay in New Belgrade, but we go to an even more desirable part of it. Right next to the Ustia shopping mall and the Hyatt Hotel, there is a huge building with an ad on top of it. It used to be from Samsung, but now in the meantime it changed to Huawei. The building got also no name and it is even less known why and how it got abandoned. The location close to the city center of Belgrade and to the residential blocks of New Belgrade is very convenient and makes it an excellent place for an office building. When I saw the building for the first time, I had the feeling it was the headquarters of Huawei and that it just had some blacked out windows. But after being in the area a few times, I realized that something was not right and it came out that the building was abandoned. How can such a massive building in a neighborhood like this remain unfinished? Well, here's the story. I mentioned crisis in the beginning of the video, 
Let's take this word and teleport back to the late 1980s and the 1990s. Belgrade experienced in the final years of Yugoslavia a hyperinflation and the money got devalued like crazy. And after Yugoslavia got split up, the remaining Yugoslavia was hit by international sanctions. However, private ownership of businesses started to appear and some business people needed some office space and the company called Rad decided to build a huge office complex. Unlike today, where many building projects like the Belgrade waterfront get financed through investors from abroad, the building got financed by Rad themselves and office units got sold before they were even completed. Sounds like a clever idea to get the building financed, right? Well, yes, but actually no. Some of the companies investing their money into some office space got bankrupt while the building was still under construction. The 1990s were far from a stable period where money was at some points less worth than monopoly money and where Ponzi schemes were thriving. Even banks got bankrupt too. The investment climate was basically at rock bottom. That kind of environment makes companies get either illegal activities and make millions of dollars or get bankrupt. In the case of Rad, it became bankrupt in 2001 after the worst period of Belgrade's history was over and an economic recovery came. It is not exactly known when the construction stopped, but it is assumed to be in 1998. The company got also another building in the city center of Belgrade, which was also abandoned for years, but eventually was put on sale because it was in sole possession of them and was easier to clear the things up. But let's get back to the massive concrete block. The building is still a mystery. There is not much information of it available on the internet and a lot of information is based on assumptions. I found some pics of it on an online forum which I couldn't imagine that they ever existed. A guy who was responsible for maintaining the ad on the top made some pictures of the inside, where you can see a triangular atrium and some close-up perspective right below the ad. Not a random block, eh? Well, what is going to happen with the building in the future? I don't know. Most likely it is going to remain as it is, because it's not in a state where it can get completed very soon and the renovation or demolition would be too expensive. Because New Belgrade is a former marshland put to dry in the late 1940s, the building started to sink, which made the fundament unstable and dangerous. I think it is a wasted opportunity and that this is a key landmark symbolizing the failure of proper financial planning and the lack of will to deal with the mess left behind. The government is not undertaking any measures to solve the problem and the people of Belgrade are being reminded every day of the fact that big plans are doomed to fail where nothing in life is certain. The next time when I go to Belgrade I'm surely going to record some more close-up footage of the buildings mentioned in this video, because they are fascinating and buzzing at the same time. Do you believe any of the two buildings will ever have a future or will something else stand on the place where they are? Write it down in the comment section below. I'm curious of your inputs. Also make sure to hit the thumb up and hit the subscribe and bell icon in order not to miss any of my future videos. Check out my Patreon link in the description down below in order to support my channel because without your support nothing of this would be possible. Stay tuned and I hope to see you the next time.